Hello, it's Marek. Welcome to M Drives, and welcome to what will be the biggest car adventure of my life and of this channel. So I've just set off from home, and it's Friday, and I'm not coming back until Sunday. Week on Sunday. Yes. So I will be away for nine days. Uh, would you believe this? And over these nine days, I'm going to cover about 2,700 miles. So I'm on my way to Hull, where I'm going to catch my ferry to Rotterdam. And I'm going to tell you a bit more about my further travels over there. Welcome to what must be the smallest cabin I ever seen, but to be honest, this is all I need for tonight. I need the place I can rest my head on and I can go to sleep. Uh, I'm gonna spend a bit of time outside, watch the views, the brilliant, the brilliant weather, you know, uh, get the experience of being on this ferry, um, have a drink, and then I'm going to go to bed. Tonight I'm on the ferry, uh, I'm going to be on this ferry for roughly 11 hours, so I should land at Rotterdam um, around 9am. Um, the plan is then to drive to Germany, to Cologne, to pick up my mate from the airport and from over there we've got about six, six and a half hours to get to magical Lauterbrunnen in Switzerland. I can't wait to see that huge waterfall. Um, it's such a huge landmark over there. And um, since I saw it on the internet, it gained a place on my bucket list and, and that's why we're doing it. Conveniently, Lauterbrunnen is also very close to the best Alpine passes in Switzerland. Susten Pass, Grimsel Pass, Furka Pass, and few more, which the names I don't remember now. And that's what I'm going to be doing on day three. So we're staying over at Lauterbrunnen. Next morning we're going to get up, we're going to hit the roads, do three, four uh, high passes over there and from over there we're going to drive through Switzerland um, to French Alps and then divert to Italy where we're going to stay overnight in Aosta. The following day will be really intensive. We will be driving for about 10 hours between um, Italian Alps and French Alps uh, before we get um, somewhere about an hour away from Nice where we're going to stay for a night. Following morning we're going to go for a drive uh, which will be about 3 hours long before we get to Monaco. We're going to get to the circuit, we're going to drive around the circuit before we go to our hotel which is only about three miles away from the um, Monaco then we're going to spend the second half of the day in Monaco um, just wandering around and enjoying the views the following morning um, it's going to be a bit boring one because we will be driving through the whole Italy we're cutting through Italy to get to Bormio um, I think um, that's where we're going to stay for another night and we're staying there because it's only about 20 minutes away from Stelvio Pass and um, so I'm going to try to hit it before it gets dark and then 
I'm going to go on it the following morning. I'm going to get up like five, six o'clock in the morning before everyone else gets up and go and get on the road. And I'm going to hit that road just to enjoy it on my own. So from there, we're going to go back to Switzerland uh, through a couple of passes and we're going to get closer to the German border where we're going to stay overnight. The following morning, we will be heading back to Germany and we are staying right next to the Nürburgring. Um, the Touristenfahrten is about at 5 p.m. that day, so we need to get there by that time because I want to get on the track. This is another tick on my bucket list. I want to do two, maybe three laps. We'll see how it goes, uh, hopefully without any problems. And the next day, I'm heading back to Cologne to drop off my mate, then heading back to Netherlands to catch my ferry to UK. Today it's the day two of the biggest adventure of my life and I'm on ferry to Rotterdam uh, where we should be within an hour. Um, so I'm going to grab some breakfast and a coffee and then I'll catch up with you later. It's almost 9.30, so it took longer to offboard than I was hoping for. This means I've got less time to get to Lauterbrunnen tonight. But it is what it is, let's hope the traffic won't be too bad. It's Saturday morning, so it shouldn't be. And hopefully we can make up some time in Germany on the Autobahn. Welcome to Switzerland. And from here we have to slow down, make sure we stick to the limits because the one thing they don't like at Switzerland is speeding.
just look at the sunset. It really looked that amazing. And we are here, Lauterbrunnen, my bucket list tick. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you subscribe to my channel because over the next couple of weeks you're going to see the whole adventure. So stay tuned. Thank you for watching. Goodbye. Do widzenia.